Democrats have uh, shamelessly alleged that a massive federal takeover of elections is needed because of questions some Republicans raised after the 2020 election. So I come to the floor today to show that this whole argument predates the 2020 election. This Democrat reasoning is despite the fact that their proposal predates the 2020 election. The bill that they want us to pass is a product for, of concerns that the Democrats had about the 2016 election being stolen from Hillary Clinton. Also, because of the 2018 elections, and in fact, the Democrat proposal was designed specifically to double down on false claims that Democrats lost certain elections in 2018 only because of rigged elections. I've said it before, and I want to say it again, evidence-free claims of voter suppression are as bad as election-free claims of voter fraud. Both voter fraud and discrimination in voting is illegal. Any claim of voter fraud or violation of voting rights should be resolved in our independent court system with evidence that can stand up in the courts. And as I've mentioned before, the claims by some Trump supporters that certain brand of voting machines switch votes was lifted entirely from the Democrats' 2004 playbook. And you may remember that Democrat House members challenged the electoral, electoral vote count of why of whether George W. Bush was officially and honestly reelected. And President Trump's questioning of his loss in Georgia was simply following in the footsteps of the losing Democrat candidate for governor of that state just two years before, who lost a much bigger margin and never admitted that defeat. That makes me wonder if Democrats' professed outrage comes from a sincere concern for democratic reforms, or if they're just upset that President Trump stole their playbook. If Democrats really want to preserve democratic norms, they would not be proposing a federal government overturning the current electoral process in all 50 states on purely partisan basis with no attempt to even hear out Republicans' legitimate concerns. The bills that we're talking about this week are being called democracy reform. Does democracy need reform? I support the American democratic system. It does not need a fundamental rewrite. 240 year history of our great country under this constitution ought to support that. It works and it deserves our support. We should not denigrate American democracy for short term political gain. President Trump's candidacy in 2016 brought many Americans to the polls who had not voted recently, and there was a record turnout. In 2020, turnout broke the record yet again, both for the Republican Party and the Democratic Party, and President Biden won that election. In the 2021 election, there were unusually high turnouts for off-year elections to the benefit of Republicans and conservatives. You saw that, particularly in the state of uh, Virginia, 
where the Republican candidates statewide were victorious, and you saw some surprising turnouts of opposition to Democrats that were reelected in the state of New Jersey. Democrats accused Republicans of wanting to keep people from voting. Why would we want to keep people from voting when we have been very successful in many large turnout elections very recently? Plus, have you seen the polls today that shows uh, dissatisfaction with Democrats, a Republican uh, deficit of uh, five or seven points last year with a, a positive Republican versus Democrat uh, polls this year. So we ought to stop casting doubt about American elections. Stop casting aspersions on common sense election security measures like uh, ID uh, uh, supported by overwhelming numbers of Americans of all backgrounds. And by all backgrounds, I mean even people that we classify as minorities. Let's work together to boost the confidence of all Americans in our elections. Let's start rejecting claims. That only way that the other party can win is by rigging elections. Let's retire the short-term strategy of falsely claiming that one of the two parties is a threat to democracy. That in and of itself is a very undemocratic position to take. This kind of rhetoric damages civil society and erodes faith in our democracy. For the sake of our country, please stop it.